Learntofly.ca and Learntofly.tv. Jeff McKay from LearnToFly.ca. Here I am with Captain Eric O'Connor inside the CF-18, and Eric's going to give my first flight lesson in the CF-18. So how do we start it up? Well, basically this is like any normal aircraft. You need electrical. Okay. And you need the. Uh, we have a well, we have a uh, an auxiliary power unit, so an APU. Yep. The APU is uh, is a small turbine that will st that uh, you'll start up. It's it's all automatic. You just turn the button on everything starts up and what that's going to do is going to give you the air to be able to uh, get the motor running great so let's start it up so we put the battery on which yep. is on the right side which uh, right there okay once the battery is on you got the APU which is on the left okay and once that's done you just crank the engine the crank switch is just below it and then after that it's just like any normal aircraft you're going to introduce the fuel she starts up it's a very easy aircraft like flying an F-18 it's not about being a difficult aircraft, it's a very easy aircraft to fly. Let's take a closer look inside the cockpit. Okay, that's the interior of the CF-18. We got three uh, digital display. They're all color display. You see there's a lot of buttons inside the cockpit to be able to press this display, but the way it works is that it's all hands-off uh, throttle system. So I can cancel and select whatever selection of the screen I want, and I get a mouse, just like a normal computer to be able to cursor around the air, the aircraft. Uh, the aircraft has, I can switch the screens to whatever I want. I can have the uh, targeting pod on the bottom screen or move it to any of the screens. I saw, usually I will, will have, I will have my radar. I have a, a situation awareness page, which is like a God's eye view from the top down of all the uh, contributor. So people with their radar can contribute to my picture. And in the middle, usually I'll have like a normal uh, uh, HSI, horizontal uh, situation indicator. Or I will have uh, my targeting pod, which has the information when I drop bombs. The stick has eight switches and the throttles, they're split throttles and they have 10 switches. And it goes from normal trimming to selection of, uh, of screens to bomb to trigger for the uh, the gun in front, we got a 20 millimeter cannon, and you got all the air-to-air -air weapon. We uh, carry the uh, Hornet, we carry AMRAM, AIM-9, AIM-7, and also the 20 millimeter gun, all uh, linked with our radar, or also the targeting pod. On the throttles, I have uh, I have four sets of radios. I got uh, digital radios. I have normal radios, uh, which can be selected either UHF or VHF. I have speed brake, chaff flare, which is countermeasures for the missiles. I have my mouse to select everywhere. I got a big switch for the spotlight inside the aircraft where we use for uh, intercept. If you want to recognize an F-18 in Canada compared to the other F-18s, usually you can see that there's a uh, false canopy painted on the aircraft and also on the side there's a big spotlight there. And how about the heads up? you have a heads up display? Or a yeah, we have the heads up display and also we, we have uh, uh, Jihamix, which is the uh, joint helmet mount queuing system, which is basically a head-up display right on your helmet. So I, even if I'm look, looking sideways, the information is still displayed there. I can look down in a target and just target right from my helmet or target an airplane right in the air just through the helmet, which eases the acquisition of the, uh, the opponent or the, uh, the target on the ground and also accelerates the process. And is that a pretty, pretty busy aircraft to fly, like you're busy all the time? Or? Well, there's a lot of fighter aircraft that have two people in the aircraft. There's a weapons specialist in the aircraft and there's an operator like the, uh, the, the pilot. The F-18, we do everything on our own. Okay. We are the sole operators. And we also uh, operate with other aircraft within the formation. So when you become a lead, you have to manage not only your aircraft and your systems, but you also have to manage the formation amongst all the other formation of players out there. How about carrier landings? Is that a big thing? We don't do carrier landing in Canada. The aircraft is set up for a, car for a carrier landing, but we use the uh, hook in the back to be able to land on short field or if there's an emergency to help us out stop as quick as we can. Let's do a walk around. You can highlight some of the specs of the CF-18. The aircraft is the frontline fighter in Canada. This is the one that's currently deployed in Italy to support the conflict in Libya. It's also the uh, aircraft that every day 
uh, protects the sovereignty of this country. Yep. Uh, through patrols up north, uh, either to intercept the Russian aircraft or to uh, any aircraft in distress, like an airliner, or in case uh, the uh, like 9/11, we're ready to go at any given time throughout the country. There's pilots sleeping there and technicians sleeping at work. It's an amazing um, airplane, it really. It is. is a pretty incredible aircraft. The aircraft goes at 2,400 kilometers an hour. That's the max wow. speed. So just to, uh, just about 60, 1,600 miles an hour, twice the speed of sound. How many G's do you pull? In You'll pull seven and a half G's. Uh, to slightly more than that, but the aircraft limits itself at seven and a half G. Yeah, plus and how about minus? Uh, minus, you'll go a maximum of minus three. There's a lot of aerobatics, looping maneuvers, rolling maneuvers, uh, high G uh, maneuvers when we do the high G 360. Yep, yep. And uh, this year, the theme is so nice. Uh, you see the aircraft has got lots of colors on it. Yep. Uh, yellow, reds to complement the uh, support the troop program. And uh, and the tail flash has all families on it. I noticed that, very nice. Yeah, and also it displays the three elements of our forces, the Air Force, Navy, and the Army. The big difference between this aircraft and the other aircraft that you see on air show is that this is an operational aircraft. It is currently being used to protect the country and also to help other uh, countries around the world to be able to attain democracy. So I do aerobatic, but as a, as a result of what I do, uh, I try to display the aircraft's capabilities to the Canadian public, but this is a frontline fighter. Let's not, you know, fool ourselves. It is the aircraft that's currently used as a working aircraft. When I'm done, I go back home and we use this aircraft just like any other one. And it's all fly-by-wire? It's all fly-by-wire, so I'm just a contributor to the computer. Another one. Okay, it's time to go flying. Whoa, what's that?